Hey everybody, hello, hello. Happy Friday, kids are home. Hope you guys are well. It's, um, we are in Wisconsin, as you know, I am in Wisconsin and um, I'm coming in a bit raw because it's just, I'm still reeling from the news we got yesterday. And some of you are all over the country. Some of you are in New York, I know, some of you are in California and everybody is in a little different space in where they are in this process. Hello, Emily. And, um, we just were told yesterday that we are on a stay-at-home order until May 26th. And so the kids aren't going back to school. And um, it's just really, uh, hey, Rachel, it's hard. We're in a hard spot right now. Um, I am. And I'm just going to be real. It's hard. And um, I'm very sad, uh, a little frustrated, angry. I'm, I'm feeling all the emotions right now. Watched a video from my fourth grade teacher for my fourth boy he's in fourth grade and um you know she's crying on the video and I'm sobbing my kid doesn't know how to handle it so he leaves the room <laughs> to go outside only to go to the porch and find out somebody left two beers on my t <laughs> on my t on my porch and, and then that made me cry again because I'm like god bless my friends and um it's just ah oh, it's so weird and raw so um I usually come in here with motivation or inspiration for you and honestly, the only thing I can tell you right now is, a, well, actually, there's a couple things. <laughs> Number one, we are always going to have challenges in life and problems to solve. And this one is just maybe a harder one. I know it is for me. It's very hard. I have a, I'm meeting with my team today because I don't know how to do it. And I'm going to be reaching out to them and asking for input and um, what they think should be best um, for going forward and working together. So if you have a team, um, lean into them and work together and come up with creative solutions to our problems right now. Um, lean into your friends for parenting advice um, and uh, we are always gonna have problems, right? Or challenges to do. Another thing that um, hit me yesterday, I. Um, because we are at a stay-at-home order, I'm able to go to a, a few more networking events or things, um, a lot more one-on-ones because they're virtual and I don't have to travel, so that saves time. So that's a good thing. And um, met somebody and she posted, with today's news, let's be gentle with each other. None of us want to be cooped up another six weeks. None of us want our friends and neighbors to die or experience financial ruin. Everyone has a point of view that is rooted in what they think is best for their family, their community, their state, their country. So let's just try to understand each other's frustrations without ascribing evil intent. It sometimes feels like we are forgetting that this is happening all over the world and not just in Wisconsin or the U.S. And I just took a breath there because it was like, yup. I'm having my pity party and I'm fully having my pity party today and forgetting that my friend in New York has been dealing with this way longer than I have or a colleague in California has been dealing with this way longer than I have or there's people that are and that's the other thing people are just dealing with the everyday stuff of maybe they just lost a loved one not related to the, all of this but they you know having to deal with that without being able to be around your family and so, um, just taking a deep breath and thinking about those people who are just going through other stuff and, um, you know, but still allowing and, and give yourself grace there too, guys, to, I, I know for me, I have to just dive in and go to those emotions so then I can come up out quicker versus trying to push them off and, you know, I can do this. I can do this. I allow my emotions to go there so that I can rebound quicker. So please, I invite you, give you permission to go there, have your good cry so that you can go and tackle those problems. The other thing, and I'll say that um, what I said in my podcast this week is if you're having a good day or you're having a good moment, go love on somebody else because they may not. Just like that person who left two beers on my porch. Um, I intend to do that for somebody else when I'm out of my pity party, okay? So be kind to each other. Uh, be good to yourself. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Keep going. We can do this. And I appreciate you all and hope you have a good weekend.